Delicious. Hi, this is Angelin for Recombi.com. If you're a regular Recombi reader, you'll know that the other day I was testing out an iPhone case for my iPhone and um, I threw it against the wall a little bit too hard and I smashed my iPhone and now it's dead. So uh, I was about to throw the box away when I realised that I could cheer myself up using the inside of this box um, and some chocolate and some M&Ms to uh, make a chocolate iPhone. So uh, in memory of my dead iPhone, I'm going to show you how to make a, um, a chocolate iPhone. Right, so you need uh, the original iPhone box and in particular you need the tray that the iPhone comes in, the plastic tray. Um, so that's, the, that's the, actually the only bit you need, so we'll just put this box to the side. Uh, you're going to need some dark chocolate, the darker the better. And you're going to need some uh, small sweets, I've got M&Ms here, which are the uh, right colours and the right, just about the right size. I'll show you what you do with these later. And you'll need one licorice all sorts, this one and I'll show you what you're going to do with that later on. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is chop up your uh, chocolate so that we can melt it. Okay, we've chopped up the chocolate into very fine pieces and now we've put the bowl on top of a pot with uh, boiling water um, just to gently warm up the chocolate and melt it without putting it directly over heat because then it'll melt too quickly and you won't get the right consistency. You want it to melt and be silky smooth uh, you don't want any bits in there, so you just want to melt it gently like that. And then once it's melted, we'll move on to the next step. All we've done is taken the iPhone holder that comes in the box and we put a bit of tape over the hole at the bottom. Uh, obviously, you want to wash this out and make sure it's really dry before you put your chocolate in. And then we're just going to literally pour the chocolate straight in. Um, and you want to make sure that chocolate's cooled down a tiny bit. You don't want to put it straight from the... Uh, from when it's just melted because it, it's going to be really really hot so you just want to cool it down a slight amount and then you want to put it in and uh, we're going to do that now okay so once you've poured it in to the mold you then just want to smooth it out with a knife you just want to go over the top like that and smooth out the top so that you go right to the edge like that so that you get a flat front, like so. Okay, now that's totally flat. And now we're gonna wait a tiny bit for this to cool down a little bit, um, and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, the chocolate's cooled down a bit, so what we've done now is we've got the M&Ms and we've just put them in where the apps would be. So I've just arranged uh, four rows of three, because uh, that's what fits. The best at the moment and then right at the bottom we've put the licorice all sort I've sliced that up into a thinner bit as the home key so now what we need to do is take this and put it in the fridge to let it completely cool down and for the chocolate to go hard again we've just taken it out of the fridge and uh, to pop it out you just need to squeeze the edges a bit and it'll pop out and then you should be able to pop it out like that put that to one side and there you have it that is the chocolate M&M iPhone. Delicious.